now that we have downloaded and installed E107, it's time to have a very first look so we can see the look and feel of this particular software. Like most of the CMS softwares out there, E107 has also been divided into two sections. This section here that is currently presented, it's called the admin section or the back office or actually the back end. The other one is actually your web page. So this is the front office or the web page where everything is being displayed. Going back to the admin area or the admin panel, this is where all the changes happen. So first of all, let's have a look what's available on the actual admin area page. Right at the top, we'll see a big menu. The first link here actually returns you to the front panel. So if I was to click here, this will actually open the front panel or the actual web page that I'm working and creating. Okay, there it is. Going back to the admin area and basically when you first start using this software, you'll be presented with a page like this when you type in your URL. And then you have this link here, which will actually take you to the admin area. And first of all, you have to log in with the password and the username you have created during the installation. And that will actually take you to the admin area, which is this one here. Going back to the main menu, the second option there is the settings. Then we have the users, the content, tools, manage, miscellaneous and about. I strongly suggest you read the about options here if you haven't worked with E107 before you'll find some PHP info, docs and credits here. This will actually give you also the version that you're currently running and using. Alright so the admin area has also been divided into different segments and here you'll find some information about the dashboard which is actually what is displayed here. So this is the admin area and this is the very first page called the actual dashboard. Then you come to a section called latest where you can find information about the files that have been uploaded. Currently I have zero because I have just started using E107. The comments pending. So basically when you have some articles and your users come in and write some comments, basically you can do a few things to those comments. You can either delete them or reply to them or actually just display them on your page and once you have any of those comments pending that will be displayed here once again I have zero submitted news items also I have zero then we move to the statuses and the first one is the comments once again this is regarding these comments here so once you move them from the pending queue or from the pending station or from the pending status they'll actually come into comments right here then you have the registered members unverified members and banned users. Registered members is the actual members that have actually gone through the whole registration process. They have also verified their registration email and they will be displayed here. Currently I have one and this should be myself. If I click on this link, I will find that the only active user at the moment is admin, which is myself. Okay, so I'll go back unverified members once again during the registration process for your members there will be an email address there will be a field where they have to enter their email address and a confirmation or verification email will be sent to your members all right so once they actually verify their email address they will become registered members and here you have the link to unverified members meaning that some people have registered but they have not verified their membership with your online community your online page and there is the banned user so if for some reason you would like to ban some users from accessing your site you can do that here and follow this link here okay so if you look at this page i like to divide it into three different parts there is the latest part that i call here on the left hand side there is the admin control panel which give you gives you all the options the admin has and there's the information panel or information section of this particular web page which is on the right hand side and that's what we'll have a look at now first of all we have some news so any news that um, e107 uploads will actually be displayed here and they actually go from the latest so this one was actually uploaded on this particular date and you can see that it's actually in the decreasing order here in the decreasing order when it comes to the dates so anything new you'll find anything new about e107 you'll find in this section here then we come to the website status and here you'll find some stats and basically you can find you can go and install some plugins which will display 
some particular stats depending on what exactly you would like to be displayed here so for example you might display here how many people have registered this month or how many visits you had this month and that will be shown here in some sort of a graphical and numerical values and then the tab here saying online so at this particular time who is actually on my website who is actually logged in so this is about this is talking about all the members that you have logged in not the visitors okay and if i was to click here and as you can see here is the information about the online users so once again this is myself the timestamp, the username, IP, the page that they're currently on. So I'm currently on the admin.php or and the agent or the actual web browser that I'm using. This is what's on the main page and all the way up in the right corner, you'll find this icon home, which will actually leave the admin. So basically you're going to hit on this and you're going to leave the admin section. And also you have a drop down menu where you can contact the one or seven people you can have a look at the content, the gallery, home and news. Once again, this news will actually be displayed here as well. If you click on the admin link here, you'll find the settings. So we're talking about the admin settings here, personalization of the admin. So how admin is displayed and whatnot. You can log out, you can view their website and you can follow them on, on Twitter, Facebook and actually on their hub as well. Alright, so E107 might not give you all the options of the more advanced CMS softwares out there, but it's very easy to first of all navigate through the whole system, through the whole software, and it actually gives you straightforward procedure of actually building your online pages. In the next video tutorials, we'll have a look at all the available menus, and then we'll go about creating our own website.